Good morning. Today I want to continue the story from the raw ham. I put two hams in brine before Christmas and the first I cut up in May. Even so I had it in a, on my channel only two, three weeks ago. But there was the movie 105. Now I show you the second one. The first one I had no problem with cutting it. Take the bone out and everything, but this time it was a little bit different. First I want to show what I have. This is the ham that I put in brine before Christmas. This I put in in February, but it was a smaller ham and very, very lean. And it's also very dry already. Actually too dry for me, I thought. And this is the one, I, the second one where I cut the first one up on the other movie. The movie was number 105. So if you look close, I wanted to cut the bone out. But the meat is so hard, you can't even get a knife in there on the outside. So I decided, I, uh, as you can see here, this part, I nibbled already. I cut it with a regular knife. And then I cut some on this side and some on this side. This is where the sirloin tip is on and that is top and bottom round. And I cut it two different thicknesses. The first one was this one here that was cut a little heavier. And then I cut this one. No. Super thin, thin, but you cannot tell really on the camera. But this is this is really super thin here. And the other side, that is from the sirloin tip. Also, I cut a little heavier, and then decided to cut a little thinner. And I said in that movie before. The most important thing is that it is not too salty. And this is just perfect. First, when I cut, want to cut the bone out, I decided, oh, I never do that again. I changed my mind. It tastes very, very good. Since you can cut it with a slicing machine, with a knife, it's very hard to, hard to cut. But next time, I cut this off because this is so dry you can't even get a knife in there. I will cut it actually the long way much as I can and I cut this off and see what I can do with it. As you see this side is a little more dried out but it tastes very very good. And don't tell me that it's uh, case hardening. This is drying. If you watch the other movie I had that on, in 12% salt for four weeks and then I had it uh, in cold water overnight and smoked it. And then I just had it hang in the basement. For a while I had to hang in another room back there but then I took it out because there was too much humidity. So I hung it, it got too white. So I washed it off and hung it in, uh, in the basement. And yesterday before, before I cut it, there was some white stuff on where the bone was, but uh, I used to go hose and hose it off with a pressure hose and everything came off and it tastes very, very good. Now I come to my taste here. Boy, that tastes good. As you know, I never eat bread with it. Sometimes when... Uh, in the younger years, we said, oh, we go to butcher and buy some meat. And then we said, we cut it real thin, we got a lot of company coming. But that's not the case. But I like it, cut real thin. If somebody wants to put it on a sandwich, put four or five slices on, so you'll have a taste of it. Not just one, that's not the idea. Mm -hmm. Just like that. This is a little heavier. I'll probably give it to somebody else. I like it this way. 
Now we have a short break, and as you see, some of them is gone already. Very, very good. I'd like to tell you a little story. A little a few weeks ago, I went in an Italian store and bought some fresh cut dried ham, but it was not smoked. And I tell you what, I bought only four slices. I ate two, and the rest I gave to the dog. I didn't like it. This is what I like. In Germany, when I was younger, we never dried the, the hams that much. When we made them, they stayed in a in the fridge, in a cool room, and there was a lot more humidity in it because they were not self defrosting. And when we uh, hung the pigs in there, then it means there was a lot of humidity in it. They never got that dry, and they never got that old, I should say that too. I like them too, but this is also very good. The one I did, or made the last movie I made, is also was very good. They all taste good, because it's basically the same thing. Now I come to the end of my movie. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. If you like it, subscribe and share with your friends. Have a good day.